Welcome back to Brain Candy TV. Hey, Brainiacs. It's Lizzie's first trip to the museum, and she's really excited to see the dinosaur exhibit. Most of the great dinosaurs died off millions of years ago, so all we have left of these amazing creatures are fossilized skeletons like this one of a Tyrannosaurus rex. Let's imagine going way back in time to learn about these awesome ancient animals. Dinosaurs are so cool! They were some of the biggest creatures to have ever lived, and they ruled the Earth for over 150 million years. We know that dinosaurs lived a long time ago, but how long ago was it? It was so long ago that humans didn't even exist yet. Most of the great dinosaurs went extinct around 66 million years ago. An animal is extinct when it doesn't exist anymore anywhere in the world. Let's try to picture what 66 million years ago looks like. Let's build a timeline that stretches way up into the sky. We'll put today at the bottom, and at the top is 66 million years ago. An average human lifespan is around 70 years. On this timeline, if we go back in time 70 years, before most of your grandparents were even born, that would only be as high as a single sheet of paper. 5,000 years ago, which is the beginning of recorded human history, would only be 71 sheets of paper high. Modern humans like you and me have existed for around 200,000 years. So on this timeline, that would only be 28 centimeters high. But if the great dinosaurs went extinct 66 million years ago, that would add up to a stack of paper 94 meters high. That's one meter taller than the Statue of Liberty. Whoa, that's a lot of lifetimes ago. Remember that each sheet of paper represents 70 years ago on our timeline. Not only that, but humans have only existed for a tiny amount of time compared to dinosaurs. Dinosaurs appeared around 235 million years ago. On our timeline, that would be a stack of paper 10 meters taller than the Eiffel Tower. So dinosaurs ruled the Earth for this long, and humans have only existed for this long. So humans are definitely the new kids on the block, and we showed up a long time after the dinosaurs went extinct. Dinosaurs came in all shapes and sizes. Some were quite small, like this Velociraptor, at less than six feet long. Deinonychus was a medium-sized dinosaur at around 11 feet long. Then, of course, there were the big dinosaurs. Triceratops was as big as a mid-sized school bus at around 30 feet long and weighed just as much. <laughs> Imagine riding one of these to school. That might draw some attention. Tyrannosaurus rex, or T-Rex for short, was as long as a fire truck, including the big ladder. That's 40 feet long. Long before T-Rex and Triceratops showed up, there were enormous sauropod dinosaurs, like this Brachiosaurus. It would have been as big as an excavator with two giant arms. That's 69 feet long. The largest land animal living in the world today is the mighty African bush elephant. Look how small it is compared to these ancient giants. Let's learn some cool facts about two of these dinosaurs, Triceratops and T-Rex. Triceratops was a strong and sturdy dinosaur. It was a herbivore. That means it only ate plants. But even though they didn't eat meat, they were still very dangerous 
and had some of the best defensive adaptations in the history of the world. Triceratops and T-Rex both lived during the Cretaceous period, the last period of the great dinosaurs. A Triceratops would have made an excellent meal for a hungry T-Rex, but it was very risky to take on a Triceratops. It had a very unique ball and socket joint to connect its head to its neck, which gave it the ability to quickly swing its head in any direction, along with those dangerous horns. And unlike the relatively soft horns of a rhinoceros, which are made from keratin like our fingernails, the two horns on a Triceratops skull are solid bone, so they were very strong. Those huge horns would have made any predator think twice about attacking a Triceratops, but the large bony frill at the back of the skull would have also protected Triceratops' neck from any attackers brave enough to try. However, scientists now believe that the prominent horns and frill of a Triceratops skull were used primarily for courtship and other social displays. So perhaps there weren't many dinosaurs unwise enough to test the Triceratops in battle after all. This is Tyrannosaurus Rex, king of the Cretaceous carnivores. A carnivore is an animal that only eats meat. The name Tyrannosaurus Rex means king of the tyrant lizards. And the name is well deserved. It was one of the largest carnivores in the world. As far as dinosaurs go, T-Rex was probably very smart. Its brain was twice as big as the brains of other giant carnivores. T-Rex had the strongest bite force of any land animal. It had a bite force of over 8,000 pound force. That's like the weight of three small cars pressing down on each bite from T-Rex's powerful jaws which were lined with sharp, banana-sized teeth up to eight inches long. Its bite was powerful enough to crack open bones, which gave T-Rex a special advantage over other dinosaurs, since it could get at the extra nutrition inside the bones and could consume every bit of their prey. T-Rex had a highly developed sense of smell. It could smell prey from great distances. Based on the impressions left on the inside of T-Rex skulls, scientists discovered that compared to the size of their brain, their olfactory bulbs were very large. That's the part of the brain used for smelling. This means that T-Rex's sense of smell was probably as good or better than a bloodhound, which has one of the best senses of smell in the animal kingdom. T-Rex also had excellent vision. Its eyes pointed forward, giving it 3D vision even better than modern eagles, and could possibly see prey at distances up to 6 kilometers away. All of these things combined, excellent vision, incredible sense of smell, big brain, and the most powerful bite of any land animal, made Tyrannosaurus rex one of the most formidable carnivores the world has ever seen. I hope you enjoyed learning about dinosaurs and find them as cool as I do. Thanks to all of our amazing Patreon patrons for your support of our show. Special thanks to our Super Brainiacs, Leland, Gavin, Mason, and Michael H. As well as these awesome fire truck level Brainiacs, Mason James, Clay, JR, Thomas and Clara, Dougal, Emma, Cole, and Graham, Casper, Henry T, PJ, Jerome, Sean P, Lincoln, Fino, Alex S, and special thanks to Wilder and Monroe. You're awesome! Hey parents, if you and your Brainiacs have been enjoying Brain Candy TV, and would like to join our Brainiac Club for some fun perks and help support our show, please check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash braincandytv. You can also support us by watching on Amazon Prime Video or on the fantastic kidoodle.tv app. 
thanks for helping us continue to create fun educational resources for kids around the world.